uh, right now, man, you, you know, through MP3 and, and um, you know, just the iTunes and so many different ways to purchase your music through the internet. I just think as, well, as a, as a fan, as a critic, you're going to have to find different ways to, you know, to rate your artist and decide, you know, what was a, a you know, a, a good album opposed to an album that wasn't successful. You got to find more than just record sales because if you look around, like a lot of the franchises are not existing anymore. Like you can't, soon you're not going to be able to go into a record store. You're going to have to get it over the computer, you know, and the same thing goes for artists. You just have to find new ways to, to market yourself out there. Don't just look for your record label to do it. You know, that's why you have, you know, out, you know, ventures like um, this is 50.com and, and new ways to get your music out there. And that's not just for us, it's for everybody. You know, you watch and if you look around the industry, everybody has a this is something.com now. You know, everybody's paying attention to that definitely. And, um, and especially for the youth, because the youth kind of like determines which way hip hop goes. Different music, different um, genres of music, they kind of like get stuck on to what they want and don't really want to do anything else. But hip hop changes so much. Like that's why you have like Soldier Boy and, and, and Lanes for them. Uh, Bow Wow. The youth controls that. So if they say you hot one month and then next month they say somebody else is hot, then that's up for you as an artist to, to keep your, your energy up there. The same way you have the NBA and you have the NFL. Like the NBA is over right now. Now football got to come and got to attract their fans to what they do, you know? So I just think all the complaints got to take a back seat. And as an artist, just find new ways to keep your relevancy up. And like I said, for a critical fan, man, just take everything. Take how many shows he's done. What kind of influence has he had on, on, on the neighborhood, on, on, on the suburbs, everywhere, you know what I mean? Um, what's the message he's pushing? Just the complete product. Don't just look at the record sales because it's, we're going away from CDs the same way we went away from wax and, and from tapes.